President Biden is celebrating the latest inflation report, touting the fact that the consumer price index had the smallest increase in over two years. But as Lydia Hugh reports, inflation may be cooling, but it's still with us. The White House claimed this week that inflation is falling, but what's actually happening? Inflation is still increasing, but at a slower pace. And that does not mean prices are falling, especially since inflation is cumulative. Consider how inflation is compounded year over year. Take, for example, cereal. Prices are up 9.3% over a year ago. But a year ago, prices for cereal were up 12.8% compared to 12 months before that. That means cereal prices remain more than 23% higher over two years ago. There's similar math for staples like butter and margarine, up 9.2% over a year ago, but up more than 29% over two years ago. And bread, up 12.5% over a year ago now, up more than 21% over two years ago. But not only are prices up, our wages are not increasing to keep up with increased prices. Inflation has outpaced wage growth going back to April 2021, just a few months after Biden took office. Economists say that is effectively a pay cut. Most workers are in fact sort of worse off financially now than they were a year ago. And that is going to drain consumers' wallets. It's going to drain their savings. And ultimately, I think it will hit and harm spending. So far, consumers continue to spend, but they're doing it on their credit cards. And there's growing concern it's not sustainable as credit card interest rates surpass 20%. Reporting from New York, Lydia Hu, Fox Business.